Hello, hello, hello on this super Sunday, wonderful Sunday that God has blessed us with. I am Yolanda with the Bates Memorial 3 Me Ministry, and I'm so glad to have everyone with us today. Parents, I do want to say thank you once again for allowing the children to be connected with us, and my prayer is that God blesses you real good. So we want to uh, start out just thanking God for a brand new month. It's April and we just thank God so much how he's been so good to, uh, good to us through all these things that's been going on. Because guess what? The word of the month is going to uh, add to what I'm about to say about being uh, so thankful. So, but we're going to get into that for the new word of the month and the new scripture for the month. So, but I do want to say, let's prepare ourselves to receive the word of God. Make sure there's no distraction uh, of any kind that you give God your best. Stay um, listening and focused because God has so much greatness that he wants to show and pull into your life, into your mind and your heart. So it's your job to do your part. So be ready, prepared and ready to receive the word that God has for you. Make sure that you have your Bible. Okay. Have your Bible with you, your body's positioned in front of the camera and that you are ready, have your mind ready to receive the word of God. So let us go to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for just allowing us to be able to say thank you. So, Lord, we just pray, Father God, right now, we want more and more of you. So let your word find its way, mighty and powerful, in our life in every area, oh, Father God. We bless you and we thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. All righty, so our lesson today is Lazarus raised. Lazarus is raised from the dead, okay? And we have a focus, and our focus is, is whatever happens, remember how powerful God is. Whatever you do, no matter what you're going through, remember that God is powerful, okay? So let's see, our word for the month is, what is this? What's our word for the month? Our word for the month is, there we go. It is hope. Yes, our word for the month is hope. And hope is believing that something good can come out of something that is bad. Hope is something, uh, hoping, believing that uh, something good can come out of something that is bad. So that is our word for the month is hope. And so we just thank God and hoping for greatness for this year. And we thank God for bringing us this far. Uh, our scripture for the month is, you see that? Okay, let us read it together. Our scripture for the month is, in this world, you will have trouble. Okay? You will have trouble. But be encouraged, I have won the battle over the world. Let's say that again. In this world, you will have trouble. But be encouraged, I have won the battle over the world. John chapter 16, verse 33. That is our scripture for the month. So it's your job to make sure that you learn it within your heart and knowing what it means after hearing all the lessons that's going to be given uh, throughout the month of April. That God be able to grant you more knowledge and understanding of his word so that you can know how to live this world in a blessed way for the Lord. So in our lesson today is we have Jesus has special friends and his special friends is Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. Okay. And it was time, it would be times that Jesus would stop by and he would hang out with uh, Mary and Martha and Lazarus. He would eat with them, stay there, get some rest and so forth. And so Jesus and disciples were traveling and they was traveling and they was teaching God's good news. Well, Lazarus became sick and he became so sick that it was like it would lead to death and so they sent message mary and martha sent message to jesus and shared with jesus your friend lazarus is sick 
And so Jesus got the message and he told the disciples that they're not going to go at once, okay? And see, I want to stop right there because sometimes in our life, things happen. People share news with us and information with us. And sometimes we feel that we have to be there. But sometimes we got to really, truly pray and be be led by the spirit because God has a way of doing things. He has a plan for everything that happens in our lives. So we want to make sure that we are led by God and we're where we're supposed to be when we're supposed to be there. Okay. So Jesus took his time and because you know, he is the savior of the world. And so, uh, so, uh, he, uh, went and he, uh, ended up, uh, coming the next day okay and so i want to let you know that mary martha and lazarus they lived in bethany okay and so when jesus arrived lazarus was already dead okay and lazarus uh uh, Ma uh it was mary mary and martha wanted jesus to immediately uh, uh come to to him you know, at his beck and call, because they said to him that if you would have been here, he wouldn't have died. And we need to realize that Jesus knew them very well, and he loved them. And, you know, you probably would think, well, Jesus should have went, you know, if he's, if that's their special friend, he loves them, he ain't got to have, soon he got the message, it seemed like Jesus would have dropped everything and immediately went to where Jesus of uh, where Lazarus was but as I said once he got there he arrived and J Lazarus body has already been dead for four days everybody say for four days for four days and so at that time the body uh was smelling it was smelling so Martha came to Jesus and she said um if you haven't been here you know my brother wouldn't have died and Jesus said to her uh Jesus said to her that he will live again and i love this he will live again now she thought it was when jesus will return in the resurrection but jesus was talking about living he was going to raise him from the dead and so jesus wanted her to know wanted uh, martha to believe okay jesus wants us to believe Okay, and so that's why that word hope is so important that we learn it and we put it in our spirits. And when things come, we got to know that good things can come out of uh, a bad situation. And this is a bad situation because we have somebody now that is dead. Okay, and so all Jesus wants us to do is believe, believe, believe his word and and, 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 and that's where we get uh, the blessings and the abundance and the beauty of God's life when we believe. So Jesus said, take me to where Lazarus laid. And so the crowd uh, led him to the tomb. And, and, and Jesus himself was very sad, you guys. He was very sad. This was his friend, okay? He was sad and he was overflowing with tears. And Jesus told them, to take away the stone. He told him to take away the stone and, and uh, move move the stone. And, and Jesus started to, to pray. And then my, uh, Jesus started to pray. And, uh, and when he got finished praying, he called out Lazarus' name. And he hollered, Lazarus, Lazarus, come out, come out, Lazarus. And Lazarus came out of the tomb. He came out of the tomb wrapped in strips of linen okay linen of cloth and they were all around his face and it was all over his body and so forth and he uh, jesus told them to unwrap him and jesus had brought lazarus back to life yes he brought jesus back i mean lazarus back to life and jesus wants us all to always remember that whatever happens, he is all powerful. And I'm going to tell you, he is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. He healed back then, and he's going to heal today, and he's going to heal forevermore. That is our God, the God that we serve, the God that died on the cross for our sins, but didn't stay dead. But on the third day, he rose with all power in his hand. So it is hope. 
it is hope, children. It is hope, all of my viewers out there. I don't know what your situation is, but maybe it's trouble at school, on the bus, or in your classroom. You have hope in Jesus Christ. Whatever that bad situation is, guess what? Good can't come out of it, but you got to believe. You have to believe. Yes, you do. And so whatever you all uh, adults are out there going through, maybe it's struggling to, to make end meets with your job. You're having trouble with your, your children. You know, you just can't seem to get things together. There is hope for you, my sister. There is hope for you, my brother. And don't you give up. You stay in that word and you trust God and you believe that he will bring you out because we remember that he is a God that has all power. Yes, and that is our lesson today. So there is hope. There is hope. And so we just thank God for this lesson today and all the lessons that we're going to receive from a blessing from God all this this week of hope. All righty, so we're done for today. I'm so, so happy. We're going to go ahead and let's do our scripture again and our, our word for the month. So we have our word for the month is what? Hope. Hope is believing that in a in a bad situation that something good can come out of it. Amen. That's our word for the month. Our scripture for the month is what? In this world, you will have trouble, but be encouraged. I have won the battle over the world. John 16, 33. That's your scripture. All righty. So don't forget to chat. Do your, do your reading challenge, which is uh, John chapter 11. Reading that. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. John, I'm sorry. John, yes, that's right. John chapter 11, verse 1 through 45. I kind of look because I'm looking behind me and the board's, you know, kind of backwards. But yes, it's chapter 11 of John, that whole entire chapter. All righty. So let us go ahead and close in prayer and then I'll leave you with a little... Um, uh, information and we will be done. Okay. Let us pray. Father God, thank you so much for hope. Hoping Lord that knowing that all things can work together for the good and it will bring a bad situation. You can turn it into a great situation. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for the lesson of the day that Lord you are our own time, God. And sometimes we want you to move in our way. But, Lord, we thank you that you take your time and you move in your time. And so, Lord, help us to be patient. Help us to be humble and meek. Because, Lord, we know that time is yours and you are in total control. So through this whole month, I pray for your awesomeness, your amazing, oh, Father God, that you're going to do greatness in all those that are listening right now, Lord. And I just want to say thank you ahead of time for what you're going to do. Lord, we forever more to say continue to cover Cover us, thank us, lead us, and guide us in a special way. And let us continue to be about your business, sharing your love of the gospel, and hoping and praying that salvation can be given to someone that don't know you as Lord and Savior. Thank you and bless your holy name. Amen and amen. All righty. So, I want to encourage you, be a part of our Black Story Time. Yes, wonderful time, and we hope that you uh, can do this Monday, 5 o'clock. All righty, you take care, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.